Okay guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing an uh, airsoft gun. And the gun that we're going to be unboxing is the... I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the lonely vibe. But they'll never know, cause I'm always on my grind. And I live a lonely life, and I'm never getting stressed, cause I gotta stay. Cause I gotta stay. Right, okay, so the gun we're going to be unboxing is the M40A3 Sportline by ASG. So in the box, I also ordered a Matrix Level 1 scope, which, let's open that up. Inside, you get a simple instruction manual, a box with the rail accessories to put on the gun, and then the scope itself. Onto the gun, what you're going to want to do is flip it over because there's four pieces of tape that you're going to have to cut. One right there, one there, and then two on the opposite side in the same spots. Into the gun we have this uh, instruction manual, it's very thorough and gives a lot of instructions. Then to open the gun you're going to poke some holes in one side, then rip the plastic off. From what I can tell, this packaging is very stiff and holds the gun and parts in place very well, which is very good, so that way nothing gets shifted around and broken during shipping. You can actually see I kind of struggled to get out the stock. What you're going to do is grab near the trigger and grip area and pull out. Apart from the gun, you also get two butt plate things to extend the stock to make it longer if you have longer arms, or you could take some out if you have shorter arms. You also get the 20 round magazine, which goes in right in front of the trigger area. And then once you press the release, there's two little springs in there that push out the mag. I know some people might have thought that it wouldn't come out and you'd have to pull it out, but the, the springs are actually in the gun. You also get a speed loader and unjamming rod. And then 100.2 BBs, but I wouldn't use those because it's a sniper and most BBs that come with guns aren't that good. And you also get the tools to put it together. To put it together, what you're gonna wanna do is take the upper outer barrel and place it in place with the stock with the trigger going through the little hole. And then on the very back, there's a little hole where the a cylinder on the outer barrel goes in and you're gonna wanna push it in there. Then after that, you're wanna, gonna wanna grab the big Allen key out of the thing. And right behind the trigger, you're gonna wanna screw that one in 50% of the way. Then you're gonna wanna screw in the front one 50% of the way. Then lastly, you're going to want to screw in the middle one 100% of the way, then go back to the other two and screw them in all the way. And then after you're done screwing them in, I just go ahead and check that all of them are in all the way and just make sure you can't tighten them anymore because I had some feeding issues where I didn't tighten the stock all the way in and I had to go fix that and tighten it all the way in and that fixed all my mag feeding problems. This next part isn't required, but I got a sling off the Novich website when I got my pistol because I knew I was going to eventually get a sniper. I just didn't know which one. I like it because it's fairly cheap. It's $9 and then it's also simplistic. It took me a minute to figure out how to put it in, but it's pretty easy once you figure it out. You're going to want to 
what I did is I put one through there, then I put one through this part, but later on I changed it, the back part where I just wrapped it around the stock, but that's not shown in the video. Moving on to attaching the scope, you're gonna just take it out of the plastic and then you get a little microfiber and then you have lens covers. I'd leave them on uh, so that way your scope doesn't get shot out. But the front one for me, it was a little loose and it kind of popped off easily, like the entire thing. So I didn't try to pop it up anymore after this. But I would pop up the yellow one and then leave the clear one on because the clear one does make it a little fuzzy when you zoom in a ton. But if you leave it on three or four zoom and then leave it on, that should probably be your best setup because it'll protect the lens from getting shot out. Here's when I noticed that it was kind of loose and it was like wobbling and moving around, but the front one's pretty sturdy so you can just pop it up and you shouldn't have to mess with the clear one ever though. If you do want to sight it in, you can take this cap off and sight it in, like zoom in a lot, sight it in, then zoom out to help it be more accurate with the scope. Next up, we have the little box that came with the scope. So in this box, you get two rail mounts for the scope. And to use them, what you're gonna wanna do is first uh, get them out and unscrew both screws on each side all the way. So that way you can take the metal piece off. Once you're done with that, you can use either this Allen key or your hand to unscrew this. And you're gonna wanna put it on the rail in a roughly about the spot that the scope would go. And you're gonna wanna set the scope on there and adjust them into a good spot for the scope. Once you find a good spot, you're gonna to wanna to put the metal pieces back on and you're gonna to wanna to tighten both screws in down evenly on both sides so that way there's the exact same tightness on them and it's not uneven on the scope because that can affect your accuracy. Don't forget to make sure that the scope is lined up evenly with the sniper and not crooked because that can also affect your accuracy. Loading it up, this mag can hold 20 BBs, and it can also hold one extra, but it's kind of loosely set on top of the mag, and you have to hold the sniper exactly, or else the BB will fall out. So what I do is I just shake the 21st BB out, because it's too much extra work. As you can see here, it kind of got stuck in there when I tried to put it in. So once you put the mag in, it's a pretty easy bolt to pull back. And as you can see, this is the part where I had the mag issues while shooting it. And I figured this out about like 20 minutes later. And I just tightened the stock more and it really helped. And I haven't had any mag feeding issues at all since then. And I've gone to the field a couple times with it. This stock comes with a really nice adjustable cheek riser. I don't personally use it because my mask when I lean against it, it's perfect, like straight down the scope. But if you have a lower one, you can use that to adjust it. Then when it comes to the stock, to adjust it, you wanna just unscrew these two screws and slide these plates in and then screw it back in. They can move around while you're screwing it in, so make sure they're all even. Going to the range, it's fairly accurate with threes and two fives can work, but threes are the best. The hop up is like slightly under max with threes, so you could possibly use three twos, but I don't personally have those. So I just use threes for the use of this. This tree is about 100 to 120 feet away, and I'm hitting it pretty accurately. And then that tree back there that I'm aiming at right now, 
I'm hitting it fairly accurately and it's at 150 to 170 feet away. When you push the limits, this gun can rack and shoot pretty fast. After that, I set up a target on a tree, which was just a frisbee. And this is about 120, 130 feet away from me. And I could hit it like the majority of the time when I only spent about 10 to 15 minutes to zero the scope. So it's not 100% accurate. And there was some wind, so it was messing with the BBs. But it's a pretty good sniper for the price and it's very accurate. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe. I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the lonely vibe.